Hello everyone, Mango here. In this video tutorial we'll be talking about reskinning your MyBB forum and how to find those pesky bits of code in order to edit them. So the default skin you get from MyBB obviously is not what most people use for their forums. Uh, so when you go into your admin panel, go under templates and styles, you can see your themes and your templates. Your themes are basically your CSS files, whereas your templates are your HTML bases. And it's important to distinguish between the two. Uh, I'm just going to be directly editing my master style because I'll never use the default one, but you can create new themes or import old ones. Um, so if I go under default, these are all the different CSS files which are all integrated into my BB. Your global one is the one you care about most. Um, and we want to go under advanced mode because we're very clever people and know how to use CSS. So you can see uh, you know, these are all the basics. You should be familiar with some CSS, but you can see this is how we access all of it. So for example, say I want to start with changing this, uh, my forum. I really don't like that, the way that looks. So the thing I want to do is I click, right click, inspect element, and this works in most of the newer browsers. And you'll get a little pop-up on either the bottom or the right-hand side of your screen. That's going to tell you all about the element you just tried to click. So I can see here I got um, link form display my forum. That's what's selected and you can see it's highlighted on the left. And then I hear, find things about my element style. So I know it's getting that blue from a link and a visited. And it's also inheriting some other things um, from the table, etc. So really I know that my color, say I really hate that blue color, I need to go under a link to edit it and I can see it's under global.css line 12 or 17 respectively. I then can go here, because I know I'm in global.css, and here I am on line 13. Okay, that's the thing I really don't like. Let's make it pink. Save changes. There we go. So then I go to the home page, I refresh. Ta-da, it is now pink, and you can see it's refreshed here. Now, a lot of people don't like how the actual HTML of the forum layout is done. So you can see it's got the indicator icon, it has the text of the forum, and then you'll have your forum description, threads post, last post. Um, obviously you don't edit that through the CSS exclusively. You need to go into the HTML. So, uh, exactly the same thing I would Again, right click, inspect element, and this time I'm going to be looking up here at the HTML component. So I can see this particular row that I'm interested in, say I really don't like the, the width of that row. Um, I can see down here under the CSS that, that belongs to T row 1. It has this border color um, and this background, but it doesn't do anything for me about the actual size, which I know is the, the 600 by 30 with some padding and margins and going on. So I can expand and uh, collapse different parts of the HTML. So I can here see this lives under strong. And there's the form we were editing earlier. So this way you can see where your different classes live and how they interact with each other. In this particular case, I can see that I'm getting all of my forum information from forum bit depth to forum. That's the HTML template where everything lives. So if I go back under templates and styles, I want to go under templates, because that's my HTML. Again, global templates or whichever new set or template group you've created. Um, ah, beg your pardon. So global templates will give you all your new point stuff. Uh, most of them are going under default nowadays. And so if you go under these, they are really darn confusing. You under post, but you're like, ah, what do all these things mean? Uh, so that's why it's really important to do your inspect element, find exactly where you need to go. Otherwise, you'll be there all day guessing. So I wanted to go forum bit depth to forum. So forum bit depth to forum. And that's going to give us everything we need to know about making these tables. So we can see it's gained a lot of the things in the curly brackets are from PHP, so they're grabbing it from your CSS through a different route, so you can delete those um, and you know hard code them in or just leave them as is. So 
now we can see, uh, so this is our beginning of our row, and this is how they build the whole thing. So say, for example, I really want to, I don't know, you know, you, you, you can change anything you want, but for the purposes of this uh, tutorial, I'm just going to add a little blib here which says I can edit things. And now you can see it showing up in the HTML. And obviously you wouldn't want to do that because um, it would show up for every single one, but it just shows you how it is inserted. Now, uh, let's say that you want to edit how the last post is written. Because um, it usually says something like uh, so-and-so on X date, and sometimes we want to change the formatting. So you, you think, okay, I go under I go under form bit depth cat 2, I go over here, I find it, and then I go into the template, and now it says this. What's this last post? You can't edit that. So that's because this, um, you know, the money symbol and the curly brackets say to me that's a part of the PHP. So now I need to figure out where does that come from. Um, and so there's a couple ways you can do it. Sometimes, uh, sometimes it actually has a secondary uh, HTML template that lives in it. Um, in this particular case, I don't think it does, but I'll go in. Oh, look, it does. So see how I um, I didn't see it initially because this was collapsed. So I expand this and I see start form bit depth to form last post never. Because um, in this case, there never had been a post. So now I need to go back to my templates. So, aha, uh -huh, here it is. Form bit depth to form last post never, which really you won't use very often. In your games you're going to be more interested in just regular last post I assume. But let's go under last post never because that's what we have. Haha, <laughs> funny story. And this is what's going to happen to you every time you uh, you know, you know, work with MyBB. So this is telling me language last post never. So this is saying to me again I have a PHP calling language uh, or that's what lang means and it wants to use the last post Never. Um, so it's grabbing default language because your MyBB forums is intended to be in multiple languages in some cases. So in this case, we are using English. So um, you know, it, usually people don't have their forums in multiple languages for our community. But this is a great example of you now have a default language and you can't edit it. Maybe you want to have last post never say last post. Um, you know. Uh, infinity or whatever, you know, you could write blurg, doesn't matter, um, and that would show up instead of never. Um, sometimes you want to change your default language, um, so you can either hard code it in and just make this say never, it'll have the exact same effect, but the problem is if people change their languages in your forum, uh, you will not be able to, uh, you know, have it change for their language, so it really doesn't matter. For elegancy, I kind of like to leave it as language last post never. Um, there may be instances where you actually need to edit your language files, uh, which I can show you uh, using Optana. Uh, I like to use Optana or uh, Eclipse is the equivalent of it, um, which is a web editing software. So here I have my Optana Studio 3. I can see my forum here. And these are all your, this is all an FTP connection. So for example, I'm really interested in the languages. Maybe I want to change some of the default language. So I go under ink, languages, English is my default. And here's all the different languages I'd be using. So I think for this particular instance, it'd probably be under, uh, maybe like view forum, probably under form display. And I beg your pardon, my internet's very slow right now. <laughs> and of course, it's going to crash. All right, well, while, while that's trying to explode, um, we'll go back to our... Oh, maybe not. Maybe we'll do nothing. That'll teach me for trying to stream, upload, and <laughs> do uh, web tutorials. Okay, so here we are. Form display language. So 
this is just an example of what some of the default language is. And this is how you can change that default language if you don't want to hard code it in. Um, so whenever it says language thread, it's just going to say thread. Um, so in this case, it would be never. Let's just see if we have any nevers. Um, last post never. OK, so it actually doesn't live in this particular language file. But um, you know, it really doesn't matter. But sometimes if you're doing uh, special mods, you're going to want to go into these language things uh, in order to change the default language. Not as important for most people, though. So going back to this. So in this particular case, it would just say never. It doesn't have a timestamp or anything. So we really don't mind too much. So for most people, when you want to change the last post, it's going to be form bit depth to form last post. I think this is going to give us something more interesting. Ah, here we go. So now we can see it's going to say, uh, you know, the title, the thread as a link, the date, and here's our language by. So again, that's that's pulling it from that PHP file I just showed you, and then last link, profile link, um, which is a PHP calling. So sometimes you're, you're trapped in this um, infinite spiral of going to the HTML, and it has this PHP, and you're just, you're, you get frustrated because you can't find where it belongs, which it takes a bit of time and persistence to figure out exactly what you're looking for. Um, so pretty much everything you need will be inside these templates. It's just a matter of finding them. So it's a combination of um, you know, right-clicking, inspect element, find the uh, depth or you know, the, the, the HTML template that you're interested in, go in and realize that sometimes they kind of live inside of each other. So, you know, post bit is going to call header and uh, view, you know, all sorts of other bits. So just be aware of the structure. And if you have trouble, of course, you are more than welcome to contact me and I can try to help you out. Um, but it really is just a matter of taking some time and, uh, you know, playing with things. So I hope this has been helpful. Um, I really encourage you all to use the inspect element in order to find where you're looking for the different bits of uh, post. If you're terribly clever and you want to go into the PHP and try to look for some of these things, uh, some of it you can't access through the admin control panel. You actually have to go in um, to the PHP to change how it is called from the database. So that's a bit more complicated. Um, you know, I can help you do that, but it's the sort of thing I wouldn't recommend uh, for a beginner. So I hope this has been helpful. Um, good luck coding, and if you have any further questions, you can contact me either on Skype or Gmail. Thank you so much. Bye.